Remember, Republic TV this morning was the first to break this clear division. There was a statement put out by three ministers and now Republic TV has spoken to Malaysia's cabinet minister Xavier Jayakumar who has confirmed that there is a divide on the issue of Zakir extradition. Not just has he backed extradition but the minister has told us that several ministers impressed upon the Malaysian PM to need uh, and in fact this happened in the cabinet minister. Shavan Sena, deputy editor, spoke to Xavier Jayakumar, the minister in the cabinet of Malaysia. Let's listen in. Uh, Dr. Xavier, I just wanted to have a conversation with you with regards to uh, the position that you, the colleagues, have taken uh, in the cabinet meeting that took place on uh, Dr. Zakir Nayak. I just wanted mm. you to elaborate a little bit as to what is your, as far as Dr. Zakir Nayak is concerned, because your Prime Minister has basically refused uh, to cooperate with India or, for that matter, carry out with the extradition process that it, India essentially wants. Uh, no, in the first place, it's not that we are not uh, uh, in, in power with what India wants, but uh, what I was told by the Prime Minister, uh, as far as uh, Dr. Naik is concerned, that uh, he has not received any uh, demand or reports on uh, what Dr. Naik is wanted for in India. But could you tell me where do you exactly stand? Because Zakir Naik today is seen as a global threat. It is not just a threat for India, but Zakir Naik is a threat for the entire South Asian region. Is that what even you and your cabinet colleagues believe, that yes, Zakir Naik is a threat, given the fact that there have been charges that have been leveled against him, which is extremely serious in nature? Well, yes, we, we understand whatever preacher he is and what he is preaching. Uh, what the Malaysian government is saying is that uh, if there is really uh, a need to prove that he has been involved in all this uh, preaching and, and, and whatever that he has done, then I think what we need to do is, is the Indian government should obviously write to the Prime Minister saying that uh, this is what is needed and uh, be more specific as to what uh, he wants Malaysia to do in order to then take further action as far as Zakir Naik is concerned. So uh, what I can say is this, is this is the stand that the Prime Minister has taken now, that he's not saying that Zakir Naik is, is, so is innocent or anything like that, but he won't... Essentially, you are saying that Malaysia is still open to extradite Zakir Naik. Yes, we are open to extradite Zakir Naik. As long as the Indian government gives the necessary, uh, 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 in writing, the necessary, uh, uh, some of the, the initial uh, charges that has been put against him or proof that is uh, recognized is needed in India for, for crime that is, uh, the Indian government uh, thinks that he is uh, uh, thought to have done, and then just write to the Prime Minister and then we will take it up from there. So... It is also understood that somewhere down the line, there are fundamentalists in Malaysia which is putting, who is putting pressure on the Malaysian Prime Minister because there seems to be some sort of a quid pro quo between Malaysian government and Zakir Naik. You all are allotting him land, you all are giving him time on a prime time well, there is, to carry on <coughs> their speeches. When, when religious matters are concerned, I think there is always the fundamentalist who will put some ideas into the government of the day. And I think India is also... You agree that there is some amount of pressure from the fundamentalists? You agree that there is some amount of pressure? Of course there, there, there is, there is, there is. I, I'm not saying there isn't. Of course there is. But uh, we being the government of the day, we will have to look at all angles before any decision is made. Would you, would you and your cabinet colleagues, because you all are ministers, would you all put pressure on the Prime Minister to act on it because this doesn't look good on Malaysia? Because at the end of the day, you all are harboring a, a person who has now been almost looked, uh, perceived as a global threat. Because he we, is charged we have, for, we have, for, we have, we have impressed for, upon, we have impressed, we have impressed on the, uh, to the Prime Minister as to what uh, we think uh, should be done and uh, this was brought up in the cabinet and uh, we have discussed the matter 
and uh, the decision is that uh, we we are waiting uh, if there is a demand from india we are waiting some uh, for some uh, written uh, replies from from the indian government to the prime minister That's a big Republic TV exclusive. Republic TV only channel in India which had tracked down Zakir Naik and now Republic TV the only national uh, channel here in India which has spoken to the key minister Xavier Jayakumar in uh, Malaysian government who is not agreeing with the Prime Minister of Malaysia. There's a dissent happening through the government where three ministers have come out openly saying that extradition of Zakir Naik is perhaps necessary and it is not a one man who needs to take a call but instead the legal process and the courts need to decide the same. Of course, they are also saying that the Prime Minister of Malaysia says he has not received any kind of request or uh, a documentation from the Indian government. Blatant lies perhaps. But now let's listen in to those two other ministers who have openly spoken out against the Prime Minister of Malaysia. My position and this, this perkara ini dibangkitkan dalam kabinet, mesyuarat kabinet semalam. Kepada saya, kita kena ikut peruntakan undang-undang. We have to follow the rule of law. And as far as, uh, uh, as, as we are concerned, uh, India has stated that they have a case. I think what has to be done is India has to put forward its case. And of course, as government, once a case is put forward, then that case has to be considered in making a decision as to whether or not uh, uh, he should be sent back or not. That is the position that I think, and I think this is what we discussed in the cabinet yesterday. So, of course, again, follow the rule of law. And as far as the rule of law is concerned, is the position is that if there is a case made out by any other country for anyone, not just Zakir Naik, then of course, the government should act accordingly. If the deportation order comes, we will, I promise you, we will take the necessary action. It's not going to be easy because one is the Prime Minister has to make a decision. Assuming there is some difficulty, the courts of this country will make a decision. Let the court make the decision. Do, don't you think so? Huh? It is not one, one individual should not make decision. Last time was one individual. Wrong. Politicians should not make a decision like that. It is for the court of this country, uh, justice, with, with uh, dispense justice, they should make a decision. So, Zakir Naik, you just wait. <laughs>